Hello everyone, I'm going to demonstrate an efficient IP multicast using software defined network and in this short demonstration I will connect to the workstation and create a network topology using Mininet and I'm going to show you the efficient multicast using software defined network. So this is basically my working environment and my main working environment is I use Amazon EC2 instance for Ubuntu server and the network simulator I use Mininet to create a network topology and the choice open flow switch I choose CPQD software switch and the controller I choose Ryu which is Python based code So the demonstration flow, I will show you the main part is uh, multicast and multi-ray support, which is which is used by the meter table to limit the rate. So now I'm going to show you the real demonstration. So I open for terminal. So I'll let them all connect to the Amazon EC2 working environment. So now all the terminal are connecting to the Amazon EC2. So now, first thing, I have to create a network topology using Mininet. So I use the command. This command will create a tree topologies, which I will show you later in the slides. So basically, the network topology I'll show you right away is this one. So I create this tree topology using Mininet, which are consist of four switch and I'll connect to the controllers. So the leaf nodes are the scenario I'm going to demonstrating you. So the PMU here are the broadcast the modding casting source and there are four subscribers and uh, which I will describe more detail later. So now I'm going to launch uh, the Ryu controller. So now the controller is initiating. So the code I'm running is, I'll show you, I'm running this code, this controller code. Okay, now we can check the group table and meter table or flow table using the DL path control. This show you the initial stats flow flow table on the switch one. Okay, so now I'm going to describe the scenario I'm going to demonstrating. So this this is the scenario I'm going to test it the, the multicasting. So we have two groups. So you can see in the screen, which is red group and green green group. So there are four subscribers, so let's ex explain this green group. So the subscriber 2 and 3 will register to PMU1, and so the subscriber 2 and subscriber 3 will receive the packet from PMU1, and there's a lim the meter table limit the rate the subscriber received. It's kind of dem demonstrating the the multi-ray support. So for the red group, we have subscriber 4 and subscriber 1 are registered to PMU4. And in the last line, we have uh, like host 1, host 4, host 5, 
uh, these labels are 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 created by Mininet, so I will run the PMU code on host one and host four, and we'll we I will demonstrate in the T TCP dump on these four subscribers to see the packet is actually receiving from from the multicast source. So let's do it. So now I'm going to show you that uh, first we have to register like subscriber has to has to subscribe to PMU1 so I use pin to subscribe so host 7 will subscribe to host 1 okay which you can see here as a message pops out okay successfully registered and we have subscriber 3 which is host 8 and he has to subscriber to PMB1 which is located on the host 1 okay so now we can see on the we can dump the group table on the switch 4 to see it actually controller actually creates a group table for it so we use a uh, the actually is a four so stats group DSC. So you can see here's the group table which is a uh, group table zero so he, he will modify the IPv4 headers and yeah to hall seven and house eight. So you can see also see on the flow table See on the the matching field, which is this one. So whenever the packet come from host one, it will apply to the meter table one and a group table zero, which I just show you. And I didn't show you the meter table, so I'm going to show you the meter table right now, which is this one. Uh, for the initializing phase. When you launch in the controller, it will create the mirror, two meter table for each switch, which I have a meter table one, which limit the rate for the five packets per second, and the meter table two here. So erase the limit the rate for ten packets per second. Okay, now the green group is set up, and now we can subscribe. Let a subscri subscriber one and four subscribe to the PMU four. So subscribe for subscriber one, which is located on the host five, and you will subscribe to PMU two, which is located on the host four. So you can see here this pops out, and the last one is the subscribe four, which is located on the host nine on the mini net. So host nine is also subscriber to host four. Okay, we are set up, and you can I can show you the the path controller to see it's actually set up. So the same the the mirror table on switch three is same as the mirror table on switch four, and I'm going to show you the group table message. So whenever it receives the group table will apply the actions for for modifying the the IP headers and I'm going to show you the full table so whenever it comes from house 4 which is PMU2 you will apply the meter table 1 and direct to the group table 0 okay so now I'm going to show you actually mob casting so I'm going to extern the cups all couple of the, the terminal Okay, we have to wait a little bit because we the system has to generate 
eight windows. Let's wait a second. He's running. Okay, so the windows comes out. So I'm going to arrange the each group organizedly. So for the group one, which is H1, house one, I'll put it here. And house one, house one. So windows. So this is house two, the group two. Okay. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, here, wait a second, five, six, five, seven, nine, nine. Nine. Okay. I'm going to drag it here for group two. So house one, I'm going to run a PMU code. So. Okay, so for house seven, I'm going to run a PDC, which will register to the PMU and PMU will start sending the packets. Okay, before doing that, I'm going to TCB dump on HOS7 and HOS8. So when I launch this, so the HOS8, HOS7 and HOS8 will receive the packet and you can see that the, the, the packet rate is re receiving is, it, is reduced by meter table because originally the PMU code works will send 25 packets per second to the destination but meter table kind of effectively limit the rate it receives. So, so now the host one PMU one is sending the packets to the subscriber two and subscriber three, which is host seven and host eight, which I show you, and I'm going to show you the the red group. So the red group is kind of the same. So I kind of arrange it here. Okay, so I'm going to run the PMU code. So I'll run the PDC code on the host line. Okay, before doing that, I'm going to TCP thump 
on the host 5 and host 9. Okay, so it is, it is actually working on it right now. So you can see the rate, the packet rate coming in is reduced by the mirror table. So now I'm going to show you actually receiving the synchrophaser packet. So I'm going to write out to Okay. So I'm going to show you on Wireshark. Yeah, so he actually is receiving the packets right here, as you can see here. So this is my demonstration, thank you very much.